Muslims in Norway are now establishing a masjid and dawa center to enhance the Norwegian dawa. If you donate to this cause, you will inshallah reap the rewards of thousands of Muslims coming back to Islam and many of those who become du'at and invite to Islam. So click the link and donate now and share the video for extra rewards. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? Now, many of you will know that Dr. Jordan Peterson and Sheikh Hamza Yusuf had recently done a podcast on Dr. Jordan Peterson's channel. And if you haven't already watched it, please go ahead and do do so because it's a very, very interesting and fruitful discussion. Um, I, I want to focus on just one one of the things because there's so many things that were said and interesting back and forth. You can see the education of both men, honestly, coming out uh, in this uh, in this podcast. But in the, in the last part of the podcast, it was a very interesting question that Dr. Jordan Peterson asked and a very clear-cut answer that Sheikh Hamza Yusuf gave. Let's take a look at that segment. I'm trying to figure out how to be a Jew and a Christian and a Muslim at the same time. Did, but become Muslim, that's the best way. Because the beauty of Islam is you get the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Last Testament. I mean, that really is, for me, even the Jews acknowledge this because Islam in many ways is a universalized Judaism. It's Judaism for the Gentiles. Very often Christians marvel at how Jews miss Jesus. Uh, Muslims also marvel at how Christians and Jews miss Muhammad. Although, to be fair to the Jews, they do acknowledge the prophet uh, as a providential force. And, and they do acknowledge him as a, a Noahidic messenger preparing the way for the the coming of the Messiah. And certainly the great um, father of Orientalism, uh, Ignaz Golzeher, he actually said that he felt that Islam was the only religion that somebody of a philosophical bent could actually accept. I think this was very, very well worded by Sheikh Hamza Yusuf. And I think it's certainly correct to point out that Islam is a continuation of the previous dispensations uh, that were the revelations that were revealed to um, Moses and Jesus and Islam that, that that's what it is it was primarily a religion okay that says that you worship one God that you don't associate any partners with that God that you as he mentioned he, uh, when he was summarizing Islam it's a religion with five pillars six pillars of Iman and that uh, the highest form the apex you see of spiritual worship is that that you worship Allah as if you can see him because if you can't see him that he can see you and so it's a really straightforward religion which appeals to the basic predispositions of human beings I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did if you did watch it so guys once again if you haven't watched it then go ahead and uh, and do so wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Muslims in Norway are now establishing a masjid and dawa center to enhance the Norwegian dawa. If you donate to this cause, you will inshallah reap the rewards of thousands of Muslims coming back to Islam and many of those who become du'at and invite to Islam. So click the link and donate now and share the video for extra rewards.